<laughs> How's everybody doing today? This Friday, this Venus day. Stella! Hey sis, I hope everybody's having a beautiful grand day today for real. Hope it's a start to an amazing weekend for you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. All right, welcome to Goddess Guidance. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you to everybody who is booking, who is donating, keeping the lights on, keeping your sis going, keeping me flowing. Thank you so much for loving me, seeing me, and supporting me truly. I truly thank and appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if you're looking to book or donate, you know, after that, it will be, it's in a book and it's in the, the bio in the link tree. Um, what else is happening here? Oh, subscribe to your sis. Yeah. Shout out to my subscribers. Yo, we a family, we a tribe. You know, I love us. I love us. I love you guys. So tapped in, you know, thank y'all so much. <laughs> they watching me like Netflix and I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Let me be your Netflix episode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, if you want daily guidance from your sis, sus subscribe. You know, subscribe. Or you can join the Patreon. Join the family. All right. Um, we're going to tap into this energy, G3. Tame and Lilith. Mm. Now. A lot of people was like, yo, where is the last live? We need the last live. Where's the last live? <sighs> I had to delete the last live. Yeah, it was a lesson in that last live, okay? So it took me a while to even upload the live. But once I uploaded it, then it was late. I was doing other stuff. And I sat down at this table and I started to watch the live. Now, I, I normally don't watch, like, the, my lives all the way through. I might skip a part here. It's, you know, move, slide, and this. Like, I don't watch the whole thing through, right? But this one, I sat down and I'm watching. You know, I'm just watching it. I'm letting it play. I'm cracking up, having a good time, you know? <laughs> a good reading you know and then I got to the point where I was talking about my mother <laughs> now I'm very I'm, I'm a very passionate person okay especially when I'm doing what I love to do okay so I'm watching this part where I get to the the relationship with me and my mom and then I just, it's like the energy just shifted. It was like, it was, it was, it was uh, uh, definitely passion, but I felt pain. I felt, I felt something that I released. This is, what is this? It was, it, it, I, I really sat here and I said, whoa, I did not like it. It effed me up. It effed me up. I deleted the whole thing. I deleted it from my phone. I deleted everything. I turned off everything here, G3. I turned off everything. And I sat here and I examined myself. Oh, yes. Because what was that? Tell me. <laughs> because I love my mother. You know what I'm saying? We, we went through our, our time. And guess what? It was needed. It was necessary. And I'm grateful. And we are at a beautiful place. I love, I am so grateful for my mother. You know what I'm saying? There is, I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy about everything that even happened. It just, it needed to happen that way. I released these things. I, I, I'm over that. So what is this? No. And I sat here and I, and I was, G3, crying. Because what is this? I love my mother. I love my mother. What is this? And not that it wasn't. So, bam. So, like I said, I turned everything off. Let me tell you how I went. I turned everything off and I examined myself. What's going on? It's quiet. Next thing you know, G3, all this paranormal activity started happening. 
No, for real. I, I put it on everything. Everything. I, I put it on everything. Friends started um, um, making all these type of noises. Would it stop? Okay? The house start creaking. Noises start. The light making noises. Light not even on. <laughs> okay? Stuff is just, it's just making noise. And then it's the birds. It's birds outside of the house. This is, it's night. It's, it's like, it's probably like around 11 something at night. <laughs> Pitch black out there. The birds. I'm like, yo, what is. Right. I'm like, yo. All right. So I, I'm telling you, I lit my stage. I'm like, you know, I'm not scared. I'm not nervous. You know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful because I, cause, cause I need answers. So now that I got your attention. Because <laughs> I need answers. You know what I'm saying? So I lit my stage. All right. They're going to have to stop that now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So I like the sage and I get back to my self-examination because what is that? I don't like that. I heard taming lily. Hmm. So I'm like, taming lily. They said now. Tell you. This is what I got, G3. You channel energy. You speak for a collective of people. You feel a collective of people. A, co a collective of people that are connected to you. Connected to your journey. Connected to the things that you have experienced and went through. They're connected somehow to your hardships. They're connected somehow to your pains. They're connected somehow to your path here. Now, Jasmine, yes, we know that you love your mother. Cause I'm, cause no, cause I love my mother. <laughs> like, like we not doing that. My mother is, she is the best, like for real. I was, I was so hurt about that whole, this how even everything played out after I woke up. But I, like, it, it had to happen that way. And now, like, I'm grateful. I'm just so. I'm. She's still here. She's still breathing. She looked good. She's living a beautiful life. She went through her. She went. She even went through. She went through so much too during that whole 2020. You know, waking up, me waking up. Uh, the world changing, her husband um, dying. Yo, she went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a lot of emotions going at it. And so I understand, you know? So I, I'm not, yo, that's why I, I was just like, no, I love my mom. I I cried for, you know, I cried for her. I cried for all of this, everything. Everything that we went through as a family from 2020 up until now, you know? So they're like, yo, we know you love your mother, right? Okay, because I just because make that let y'all all right. Because what was that? I ain't like that. I ain't like. I really didn't like whatever that was. I ain't like it. So they're like, hold on. But you feel for people, Jasmine. You are you you read for a collective. Now these are it's people that are on the beginning of their journey. It's people at, at the beginning with the, they're they're going through that same type of situation with a, a parental figure or something like that. They're at the beginning of their journey. They're at the middle of their journey. That at the end of the, however it goes when it comes to that situation, you're tapping into all of these people. You're tapping into people right now that that want to express exactly what you express, exactly how you expressed it, but they can't. They don't know how. They don't know the words. So you're feeling all of these people. You're tapping into the divine feminine energy. This is what connects you to people the divine feminine that intuition that creative that passion that nothingness <laughs> which is everything crazy you tap into the grid this that's divine feminine energy that's lilith energy here 
So now that you know what you're doing, you're channeling people's pain. You're channeling people's and you feel it because you went through it too. So you're going to release it. That's what you're, you're, you're a true speaker. Relax. No. Are you sure? Tell you, if, if F me up. <laughs> F me up. I'm like, no, make it make more sense. I need more because I didn't like that. Okay, let's make it make more sense then. The divine, you're taming Lilith here. Like I said, that's divine feminine energy. Now that you have tapped into the mother, now that you have awakened your kundalini, that is Lilith. Lilith has been holed up at the bottom. She has been buried, locked away. She has been removed from her position. She's angry. She's mad. She has a lot to say. She she wants to express a lot. They turned her, Adam turned his back on her. You know, he, he chose the clone. He chose the clone. Why would you choose a clone over me? You and me. <laughs> You locked me away. The divine feminine been locked away out of her position. Here you go. Tap it into the divine feminine. Here you go waking up. Waking up the beast. Yeah, she's a beast. This is why they call her a demon. They be saying mad things like she, But she mad. Who wouldn't be mad though? Your man choose a clone? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Who would be mad though? Your man slash brother slash son slash whatever. <laughs> Who want to be mad? They, they done knocked you out your spot, locked you up, made you feel like you didn't belong, called you an outcast, called you all types of demons, called you all types of you, you all powerful, all knowing. You have a beautiful position here. You are so needed here. You are so necessary. You are so loved and don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, divine feminine, that Lilith energy, that's what you have awakened. That's what, that's that Kundalini. That's, that's the divine feminine energy that you have awakened within you. That's the Holy Spirit. People be, oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, it makes me shout. <laughs> oh, 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 the Holy Spirit <laughs> do more than make me shout. Okay, <laughs> understand that. The Holy Spirit have you out here moving mountains. <laughs> Running through crowds of people. Okay, with power, force, authority. <laughs> the, the Holy Spirit will have you out here slaying demons. The Holy Spirit will have you out here not caring about feelings. The Holy Spirit will make you a rebel. The Holy Spirit will have you breaking laws. Hmm. So, <laughs> you done unleash the beast. <laughs> now, you must tame her. Because, see, yeah, it was a lot. It was a, yeah, you, it was a lot. But it was needed. You said what you, you said, you, you know. It was, a, okay, we feel you. Because, yeah, I ain't like that. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I don't want to be like that. That's just, no, I'm healed. Because that's all energy. Like, G, G3, for real. Like, on my journey, I have truly went through a lot of transformations. From even how I started with God as Guidance. If you watch old videos and stuff like that, you can kind of see my journey. You can see the changes, okay? At one point, all I was doing was cursing. And let me tell you, I was not really even a cursor like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then I became like this major cursor. You know, I'm just, every other word, I'm always cursing. And it was like, what? And I really had to like even break that. And it was like, I went through a lot of transformations here. Okay, that anger when I was mad at the church and mad at the pastors and you know even in the last one, because I, I, I was a little like you know uh, I was that was a little mean, but that's what they doing. But it's like uh, that just that energy alone. I'm not really. It's like I don't I don't be wanting to be there, but clearly <laughs> it's like. <laughs> 
but I, I feel like I'm, I'm not, because I'm not angry. I'm, I'm really here to help guide. I'm really here to help lead everybody on all walks and all walks of life. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I understand. You know what I'm saying? And that's all you're supposed to really get here is, is wisdom and understanding. If you can have, if you have understanding, then, you know, tss, everything will make sense. <laughs> You'll understand why certain things are in place and why certain things are needed, you know? Why certain people do certain things and why, you know, these cer certain buildings are still up and running. You, you, you'll understand, you know? And that's why it's like, even when I was saying it, in my last reading, it's like, you, you can believe whatever you want because I just want you to be right. I just want you to, 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 to make good choices, decisions. I want, like, I want the best for all of us. I don't care what you believe. You can be, you can be an atheist. You can believe in nothing. You know what I'm saying? I still love you and I still want you to, to, to do, to make good decisions because I understand this is not it. It's more to life than this. And, and if anybody can just sit back and see how everything is so, it's just how it's set up and it's so in alignment and, and so controlled and we don't have control over that. It's things that's so controlled that we don't have no control over. So it, it's more than this. And that's what I, 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 I'm really, right now, like in my journey, I'm, I'm about the more to this, the more. To life <laughs> and the more to life is the afterlife okay or the before life whatever you want to call it but either way you know that's what I'm about and that's what I feel like my journey has has took me and you know and I feel like you know you guys are truly watching me master my purpose like for real you're truly watching me master my purpose and thank you so much for seeing me accepting me accepting even the flaws and because you know i'm not perfect you know i'm not perfect but i'm, I'm truly not here to hurt anyone I, I i feel like my hurt you know the days that i cause pain is kind of over but it's like the truth is painful and, and that's another thing because i i'm telling you i was battling i, I, I was going to come live yesterday but it was, i was still battling it's still a battle here so you know what i'm saying i'm still like okay hold on because i feel like because I, under, I felt a lot better, but it was like, I, I felt like there was still more. I'm still listening. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we were still, I was still having a conversation. I, I didn't close out the conversation. I know it's a new day, but we still talking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm still, I'm still listening. What happened? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So what I was saying just now, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, either way, either way, because I, I, I don't know, it'll, it'll come back to me. But, um, oh, yeah, because I'm, like I said, it was still a conversation going. We were still in, in, in conversation. They still letting me know other things that's, that, that was taking place and why it happened. Because, I, like I said, I didn't, that energy was just, it was a lot. But I'm not there anymore, you know? And, and that was old energy. So that could be significant too. It could be like old energy resurfacing in your life here. Okay. Old energy that you might have to sit back and self-examine and, you know, um, and figure out, you know, what is, what is it about? Okay. Now, because it's deeper, because you've, you're over that, that you know, you're no longer in pain. You're no longer mad. You're no longer like you feel you, uh, you, you got the understanding. When you get the understanding, things make sense. You can release, you can let go, you can move forward. That's, you can heal, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, what I was saying, so you, uh, you're healing, oh, basically you're healing this aspect of Lilith. You're taming this aspect of Lilith that is, like, she's a big energy. Now, mind you, I was gone for a week, okay? But it was a lot of things happening to me within this week, okay? If y'all saw, the, I went to Tennessee, you know, if y'all saw the weekend wine, did, did you see how the butterflies was like landing on me and on my fingers? And it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's common for them to be, you know, flying around you and stuff like that. But they were like literally landing on me. It was, remember the bat, the dead bat that was in front of the car? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, a bat? 
in all of my 36 years of living, I never seen a bat coming, a, a bat, a dead bat in front of a car. Like, what is that? What, what? Okay, buried the bat too. <laughs> now I'm starting pet cemetery, my mother says. <laughs> and I want to bury everything. But, um, so, it, and then when I was in, another thing happened in Tennessee, I don't even tell y'all, I went to church with my grandmother now. Mind you, my grandmother always wanted me to, you know, sing, always been wanting me to sing at her church, right? The last time I went to, the, the only time I kind of been to her church was for my grandfather's funeral. And that was in 2017. And during that time I was pregnant and I had like this spitting thing and it was just, it was annoying. Okay. It was like my mouth, I was creating so much saliva that I had to walk around with a spit, but a, a spit bottle. Okay. Or a spit cup. It was, yeah, it was really and this one other lady said that she went through that too. A doctor, a doctor said that a lot of people go through that, but it's like, they don't really talk about it much. But um, they said that, uh, she was like, no, when the baby come out, you're gonna stop. And when Mackenzie came out, I stopped spitting. Like, what kind of mess is that? <laughs> so anyway, so I couldn't sing, you know? I couldn't like, you know, sing, whatever. Now, here we are, 2020 up uh, for, I'm down there and I know she was like, when, when, you know, we was booking the trip, she was like, I don't want you to stay a few days. I want you to stay, you know, I want you to stay like almost a week or so. I want you to be down here for a while. So I'm like, okay. So I, I booked the, when I booked the flights, I'm going to be down there on Sunday. And I'm like, oh goodness, here we go. Now, this is like a couple of weeks before I, I even get down there. I'm on the phone with my grandmother. And I'm like, listen, grandma, I'm not singing at your church. Okay. And she's like, <laughs> I said, Grandma, I know. I know you. Okay? Do not go up there. I'm not singing. Okay? I'm no, I'm chilling. Okay, I'm going there, I'm chilling. I'm not singing. This is vacation. I'm not saying I'm chilling. She's like, okay, okay. Baby, if you don't want to sing, you don't gotta sing. You know, I would love people to hear you sing, but if you don't want to sing, you don't gotta sing, baby. I'm sitting there like, so every time we was on the phone, Grandma, don't call me up there to sing. Cause I'm not singing. Okay? <laughs> She's like, baby, I'm not, okay. You don't want to say, that's okay. Get down there, Sunday come. Now, I'm sitting, now even before that, I feel like I told my subscribers that I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm singing. I feel like she's going to have me singing in, in, in this church. I do not want to say, like, I'm not singing. <laughs> so we get into the church, right? Church service going good. Pastor up there. I'm thinking, you know, everything is, whew, everything happened. And it was, it was her church 155th anniversary. Church been around for 155 years. Okay. Okay. It started in 19. No, it was eight. It was 18. It was something. It was 18 something. <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah. Years ago, 155. Okay, so they it was so it was not like a regular service. They was doing other things, people up there talking, other things going on. It was a good service though. Okay, I, I loved it. My daughter loved it. So anyway, the pastor is up there. He about to preach. So I'm like, okay, whoo. <laughs> so then my grandma get up. Now, mind you, when I walked into the church, I heard. Um, there's a leak in this soul building up in my head. Start playing in my head. It start going off in my head, G3. That's all I'm hearing during the whole service, during every all I'm hearing is there's a leak in this old building. So when the pastor got up there to preach, I said, Oh, whew, like what is the false alarm? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I'm sitting there. <laughs> my grandma get up. Look at how my grandmother. Pastor, I got something to say to you. Miss Rose. Her name is Rose. Miss Rose, what you got to say to me? <laughs> so the pastor right now is going through, uh, I think, throat cancer at a, at a church. There's something going on with his throat. Something is growing on his throat. And he um, is going to the doctors to see what's going on and all this other stuff. So he's going through, you know, cancer in, in his throat. And, you know, my, you know, I, I went through the cancer in my foot. 
So my grandmother gets up and she's like, you know, I just want to encourage you. She's like, Jasmine, stand up. Baby, stand up. I'm like, <laughs> so I stand up. She's like, you know, I just want to encourage you, you know, I know that you're going through, you know, with your throat cancer and all this other stuff, but my baby, she had cancer and, you know, God helped her through and, you know, if God can do it for my baby, I know that he can do it for you. And, you know, she's, you know, she's just encouraging him, going, you know, encouraging him. So I'm like... So I'm sitting there, we sitting there, and everybody's like, mm, you know, and they're like, oh, thank you, Miss Rose. And, you know, everybody's la um, clapping. And, and so he looks at me and he's like, so, you know, he's looking at me like, what you going to say? Now, now it's your turn to speak. <laughs> so everybody, everybody's quiet like, and I'm like, who me? <laughs> G3, out of nowhere. There's a leak in this soul building, y'all. And my soul, everybody was like, oh, <laughs> G3, I sung so loud. It was like, you did, I didn't need a mic. It was a big church. It was like, you, they went, they ran and got me the mic. But even my daughter was like, mommy, you were so loud in the beginning. It was like, it was, it was like, there, it was like something took over me. And I was just, there's a leak in this soul. And I'm just singing it. <laughs> and now the piano play, he going to. You know, he want to, the drummer get up there, now the choir backing me up, and my soul has got to move, my, my, my soul has got to move, yo, <laughs> it was like, I'm singing the verse, everybody rocking, the church is going crazy, the church is going crazy, G3, what, <laughs> then I was like, then I, you know, I stopped it, and I said, <laughs> you know, pastor, you know, and I, and I just, I spoke to him. I, you know, told him if God can do it. I, I was telling, oh, the cancer that I had. Oh, that's what I, okay, yeah. I was talking about the cancer that I had and, you know, um, I was diagnosed. I thought I wasn't going to walk again. Then I started doing my little shout around. Look at me, G, look at me. I thought I wasn't going to walk again. Here we go. Da, 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 da. And then now I'm walking. <laughs> they all, ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, and then, you know, you know, I tell him, I give him some more encouraging. And I give him some more encouraging words, and then you know I take I take my seat. Mackenzie crying, you know my daughter. She 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 crying. The people that I was with, they they whoa they they couldn't believe it. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I had my, some of my other cousins from Brooklyn came up, my older cousins, and so um, and then my grandmother she in the front with the with the you know the older ladies and stuff, and she up there crying. She come, you know, and it was just like. After the service, it was people coming up to me. This, this young guy came up to me, you know, and he was like, listen, I haven't cried in years. He was like, I don't do that. You know, it's real hard to make me cry. He was like, but I haven't heard that song since my mother's funeral. That was the last, that's like one of the, he was like, you know, you, you helped me remember my mom, you know, and he was like, I just broke down. I just broke out. I just couldn't, I couldn't help it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, you know, and I'm, th I'm glad. <laughs> I was never good at taking compliments. Oh my goodness, they were laughing because I was never good at that. <laughs> you know, so okay, God bless you. <laughs> they were trying to t tell me how to take compliments because I don't, I couldn't take it. <laughs> It'd be too much. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but either way, so that happened. So it was. I say, I say all that to say it was a lot of things going on. And even when me and my grandmother talked about it, she was like, "Baby, like," I said, "Grandma." I, I, She's like, I thought you said you wasn't going to sing. I said, I didn't want to sing. Ah, I've been telling you. I told you I wasn't going to sing. I said, yo, grandma. She was like, yeah, that's what happened when that Holy Spirit get to you, baby. It's like, you can't tell God what you're going to do now. You now, now, come on. <laughs> she said, yeah, you telling your grandma you wasn't going to sing, but that's, but God had other plans. <laughs> and I'm saying, like, clearly. Because nothing could, nothing came out of my mouth. But he said, he looked at me, he said, and I said, who, me? And I turned around. It was like when I turned around, it was like, there's a leak. It was crazy. So the energy has been very, like, it's been a lot. But I feel like, you know, that was initiation. I was going, I was really going to another level here. And see, when you tap into different levels, you tap into different, different levels of the divine feminine energy here. And with, the, with different levels come, they always talk about new levels, new devils, but they never talk about the new, the new energy 
you know, this, this new powerful, don't worry, it's at the devils. What about the, the new powerful energy that you have just unlocked and unleashed? It's like, that's what you got to. It's like, that's what you need to focus on. That's what you need to, to, to worry about or, or not even worry. That's what you need to balance out. That's what you need to focus on. So they're telling me, you know, at the end of the day, you have went to an, you, you have activated more of this divine feminine energy. You have went deeper. You have unlocked a new level of something here. And it's, and understand this, Lilith is a big energy. It's a lot of it's a lot of energy that comes with her. So all you can do, all you can do is tame Lilith. All you can do is, is try to balance yourself out. But at the end of the day, you are also you are also a messenger for the divine. So however the message needs to get across, that is what's going to happen. All right. Allow me. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm saying. So that's why it's not up there, but that's what we are here to do. G3, as we move into deeper levels, we're going deeper into our, our divine feminine energy, unlocking more of of Lilith, unlocking more of this this frequency that has been abandoned, discarded. It's a lot that comes with this. She, it's a lot of passion behind her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. They, I feel so much better about it. And I'm glad that it's gone. You know, because I feel like that was old energy, but I, it was a lesson in that. It was a lesson for me. And they wanted me to, ex, um, they wanted me to come up here and talk about this. Because I really wasn't. I was going to come up here and get into the cars, right? And I sat here and I'm like, okay, should I talk about what, you know, should I talk about what I, you know, what I experienced, what I went through, you know? And let me tell you, it, I'm, I'm talking about it and it's all good, but during the whole process, like I said, it was like, then I say it was a lot of paranormal activity. It was a lot of energy because I didn't like, I really couldn't understand that, you know? And it's like, what, what was going on? <laughs> but I, but then I, they, they made me, they, they got me to understand, you know? But, um, so I'm like, you know, should I even talk about that? I thought that was just between me and, and the Most High, me and my ancestors. And um, when I sat down here to get a divine feminine energy, you know how like you sit down and I take the deck, I part the deck like this, you go like this. And when I look back, look love, I love you too. When when I look back, looked at the card, look was, who was in Lilith. Y'all don't gotta believe me. Y'all don't got to. <laughs> but she was there. And I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about. All okay? right? People, I feel like G3, not only me. I'm not the only one that's going through these energetic shifts, um, understanding these energetic shifts, understanding how to balance ourselves out in, because we have been. We have unlocked more. We went deeper. We it's it's new levels for us. It's new levels for the chosen ones. And then and then these levels we are healing the divine feminine energy. When you tame Lilith, it's really your healing Lilith. Lilith is it's only a lot of anger behind her because of the of the neglect. But all you gotta do, if if any type of dog, if you see dogs that have been neglected and they haven't been and I just call Lilith the dog now, come on now. But you know, uh dogs fell backwards God. But anyway, if you see a dog that's abandoned and they haven't been fed and they all shriveled up and they all and they all de neglected and at first they're scared of people they're attacking their ass but if you love it if you take care of it if you support it if you feed it you know you nurture it you be very kind to it what is it going to do it's going to release that fear that anger it's going to want to be free it's going to want to play again so that's what we're doing with the divine feminine energy. Not to say she, you know, but she's been abandoned and, and, and neglected and, and, and misused and abused. They use and abuse her. Imagine that. Being raped and tossed to the side. Imagine that. Being used. And then being called demonic. Being cheated on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Imagine all of these things she went through a lot. And then was locked up. 
for years. Imagine being locked up for years. No. She's mad. And we get it. We understand. And when you understand why the, the dog is biting at you and, and trying to destroy you because it's been neglected and beat and it's, it's hungry and, it's, and it doesn't know who is the enemy and who's not the enemy, doesn't know who's for them and, and who's against them. It, it's the love turning around. So that's what we're doing with the divine feminine energy. We're loving on it. We're neglecting it. We're, we're not neglecting it, but we're understanding what she has come from and learning how to tame it and balance it and accept it. Because that was another thing. It was like, I didn't even give it, a, I didn't even get, give the, the, the reading a chance to, like, it was like, once I felt what I felt, I immediately reacted. And that's another thing. Maybe sometimes you can't immediately react sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Most times, all the time. But I reacted because I didn't. I didn't like that. I didn't like what I. Did. I didn't like what I. How, how, the energy. And it's so funny because G three, when y'all see me up here when I'm when I'm channeling and I'm, when I'm in these cars, I don't. I don't look at the screen. I really be in my own. I be zoned out. Like my eyes is like I be somewhere else. So even after the you know I'm watching even at the end I'm laughing and I'm joking I'm like. You know, when it's like this energy was so early, and then it's like, now I'm this. And it's like, come on, what, what is this? It's like, you're back. Listen, this is, this is what, this is new levels. Balance it. Good. Okay? That's all you can do. That's all you can do is try to balance it out. Okay? That's all you can do. Okay? And let love. And let love just love. Let, let love do, do its thing. <laughs> G3, and that's justice for Lilith. Healing Lilith is justice for Lilith. Balancing out that... It's, it's a lot of energy. I just, I don't even know what to call it. It's just like a... a it's like, how do you balance out a tornado? Ah, right. How do you balance out a hurricane? Like, what are you talking about? You don't. You allow it to happen. You flow with it. <laughs> you flow with you. You just have to let things happen. See, that's the divine feminine energy. It's like you can't tell her what to do. You just have to love her. <laughs> you just have to let her. Because even though you might feel like the tornado wasn't necessary, it probably was necessary. See, we are so worried about what's happening on, at the top of the land. You know, on top of the land. That's Because that's what we build. At. We build on top of the land. So we only care about what's happening on top of the land. You know? But we be forgetting that we building on. There's something going on under what we built on. So maybe the, the, the tornado was for something that's going on under what we built on. And you so worried about what you built on top of the land. Well, who told you to put that there? <laughs> I didn't tell you to put that there. <laughs> you know? But where, where's your oracles? Where's your seers? They could have told you that there was going to be something going on here in a, in a couple, in, in a few years. And, 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 you know, maybe you shouldn't put your establishment or, or, or put houses right here. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. There was something going on under the land that I gotta take care of. Okay? So, you know, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Y'all feel me? Do you feel me, G3? <laughs> but let's see. Love. Now, Angel of Union is here. Okay, and this could be the balance, this could be yin and yang energy, the balancing out of the masculine and feminine energy within oneself. Balancing out Adam and Lilith, you know? Because now, because, because at, okay, so say the, your masculine energy, that's the Adam. The Adam is bowing down to, to, to Lilith now. And it's like, oh, man. As within, so without. As above, so below. 
something had to I feel like just how I went through, I went through like a, whatever that was, a self-examination period, uh, a period where I was, you know, experiencing, experiencing some changes and needed to really focus on something. Somebody else could have experienced something like that. And it's like things have to really happen within oneself before it happens in the physical realm here. So I feel like there is, there was a deeper connection that, that took place within yourself here. Somebody took the time to self-examine. And here we are, where now that you have self-examined, you have surrendered to something. You have surrendered to Lilith. Okay, Lilith, I didn't like that, Lilith. That was too much. Well, first of all, first of all, watch how you talking to me. Let's go there. I'm just saying, I, like, I just didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because mother will get you a check. <laughs> Who you talking to? So that divine, the, the, the atom, is something about the, you, 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 you're at this new level and the divine, you, you surrendered to the divine feminine energy, to this new level of Lilith that you have unlocked here. Now you're working alongside this new level. It's, it's no, you're not bad on, but it's like, I don't agree with that Lilith. It's like, well, I didn't ask you if you agreed. It's like, but wait, we working together. You, yeah. So what's wrong? <laughs> so why are you talking to me like that? Why are you talking to me like that? Ah! Like, okay, that's over. <laughs> now that's over. <laughs> now we can truly work together and be in alignment. Now, this happened on a spiritual level here. Now something is about to happen on a physical level. To where an Adam and Lilith can now fully come together. Now this now something can fully come together. So this could have happened male or female, however this is going. But both energies. Both energies had to surrender. Both energies had to bow. Both energies had to uh, uh, do what was necessary to connect to or, or to understand this new level that they were on. Both. And now it's two energies here that have done that inner work that can truly experience a, a, a great union. A union, a partnership that is blessed. For greatness. This was destiny. This was destiny. Something was something was written in the stars. Something was supposed to happen exactly how it happened here. Somebody it was all about balance. It was all about the holy matrimony. See, this was always somebody's destiny here. A divine union. But you can't get the divine union without holy matrimony and that goes on with them so there is somebody who did some type of work here and now you are about to experience a, a, a beautiful love story but guess what this is justice this is justice for Lilith Lilith is so deserving of love Lilith is so deserving of love so this is justice for her. This is Adam understanding now. I don't, I don't have to come from your rib for you to love me. You don't, I don't come from your rib, we are one. This is Adam understanding how y'all are connected now. I don't gotta, I, I, I don't want the clone, I want my other half. This is, this is two halves coming together, being whole. And I know we like, no, it got to be two whole individuals coming together. But understand what I'm saying here. Yes, these are two whole individuals because you needed holy matrimony. You, when you get, when you tap into holy matrimony, now you're calling in your other half. When you become whole, you realize that you are only a half or something like that, eh? Listen, you got to understand the mathematics. This, this thing is all about math. <laughs> and, and, and the way that they are changing math now, okay? The way that they are changing math now, I don't know if anybody has children, but, you know, first grade math and second grade math, I thought it was just add, subtract, you know what I'm saying? 
they doing all types of different number systems and placing the numbers like this and this and they're adding differently and they're subtracting differently and no, 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 no. At this house, because, hey, listen to me, okay? Listen here. We're going to put the numbers on top of each other. That's not how it goes, mommy. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's about to start again. Listen. All I know is how to put this on top of that, and this is and this how you get the answer. Why not do it this way? This is so easy. So the way that they changing the math here lets me know that they try. They be really switching up the mathematics, trying to confuse us. But yeah, the mathematics maybe it's confusing because they be confusing it. But and it's so funny. Why confuse something that's already confusing? <laughs> a half, a whole becomes a half. What are you talking about? <laughs> I thought two halves made a whole. <laughs> they do, but the two halves the. The, the, the two halves got to be whole first. What? Wait, huh? <laughs> it's, like, it's already confusing. Why make it even more confusing? I don't know. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what happened to be being simple? Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> That's why people can't understand the math. Dude. Math is already confusing. You trying to understand the mathematics and y'all want to confuse it more? Already confusing. <laughs> so this is what's happening. Two holes became a half, and now something about you finding your other half or another, another half is here, but something had to happen in the spiritual realm, that holy matrimony, the holy, whole, the holy matrimony. It was holy matrimony. That's, and then when you have that holy matrimony, you become a half. Okay? <laughs> Watch out for me. Okay, what y'all want from me? <laughs> right. Divine abundance. Yeah, you're being rewarded for becoming whole. Now that you have become whole, you can find your other half here. Change, yeah. A change is here. A change is going to come. Ah, G3. Now that you have... This is this is some type of divine abundance here. You get some type of divine abundance. You were born to align with love's will, huh? You was born for some for to, to find your other half. You came through the womb to become whole to find your other half. I don't know. This is the energy I'm picking up on here. Okay. Learn to be abundant, not chase it. Yeah. That inside job, that inner work. You have learned to be abundant. You have learned to be whole. And now something is about to change in your life. This is beautiful energy here. This is what happens when you tame Lilith or heal the divine feminine. Feminine. What the heck? Heal the divine feminine. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens, baby. Okay? You are rewarded with your other half. But you don't know that you need another half until you become whole. Understand that? Because I don't need nobody. We know what that we know what that means. That means that you haven't become whole yet. See, a whole person know that they it's another half. It's another half. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. And it don't always have to be a lover here too. Understand? It don't have to be a lover. I'm picking up on a divine. Uh, I'm picking up on a union. I'm picking up on holy matrimony. I'm picking up on um, marriage and stuff like that with a uh, with a, a a man and a female. But at the end of the day, your other half can oh can be a child, can be a a parent. However it goes. All right, there you go. Grief. What's somebody sad about? I feel like is that my alarm to stop? Because I gotta go. Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay? Yeah, you're being guided here. Invite help. Mm hmm Somebody, um, you're being invited somewhere. You're about to be invited. Invite the divine feminine to pursue you. Somebody is about to pursue you here. Your other half is about to pursue you. Seriously. Just say, I am finally ready. God, pursue me. So now that you have become whole, all you have to say is, I'm finally ready. And you're going to be guided right to each other. Okay? I feel like somebody, it's two people being guided right to each other here. Because, see, see, I was, 
I have a reading that's, that's going to um, go live on YouTube at 444, okay? And, yeah, it was talking about the prayers of the righteous. See, when two people do the work and pray for something, it happens here. Now, individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. So something was your purpose. And I feel like maybe you had to attach from, de detach from being, trying to connect to other people or be like other people and find your individuality. That is, that is, uh, this was a part of the holy matrimony here too. This is a part of the surrender. Try not to control everything, right, Adam? Try not to want to control how everything goes. You got to detach from that mindset, those type of, you know, that, that thinking. That thought process where you're in, you're in control. And it's like, yeah, you're in control to an extent. Because somebody else rules on this throne on, on this on this throne with you. You're not on this throne alone, Adam. You're on this throne with with, with Lilith. So you don't rule alone here. And this ain't Zeus and Hera, baby. This ain't none of that. You ain't that you ain't sleeping with everybody. Ah, ah, what? Now her bad, she, you know, she ain't read all this other stuff. Hey, no, we're not doing that. We know how that story go. And it don't end well. So, <laughs> so. Detaching from control. And I feel like each, in a, each person in this union had to learn how to do that. It was two controlling people coming together. It's two controlling. It was two people that were very controlling that had to learn how to detach from control. Facts. This is what I'm picking up on here. I'm not controlling. I wasn't controlling. Wanted to control how people saw them, people viewed them. Two people had to really be comfortable in their skin, with their journey, with their path. Justice for these two individuals because they have done the work. And when you pray, I'm telling you, it's something about those prayers of the righteous. I, I don't want to go too much in it because I feel like I don't want to say, watch the reading. The reading that's coming on on YouTube is lit, G3. But let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I can't get deep into this energy. Um, I have to go to the bus now. Y'all know how I go. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for being here, tuning in. Um, if you got anything from this message and you want to leave your good donation, all of my information is right there or will be posted down below when I post the video. Thank you guys so, so much. Hope you have, ha I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Okay. And I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Love y'all. Bye.